Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by for a visit. Uh, I was working on my granny square sweater that I have been working on. And it's just to say that um, number two yarn, the Fruity Stripes, did win by a landslide. So that's the color that I'm doing my sleeves in. And I love this color next to the black. Oh gosh, it looks so good. It just pops perfectly. So as I'm working on the sleeve, I'm thinking I wanted to do just big sleeves, like a bell sleeve. I thought that would be really cute. And so I just used up the whole skein of yarn. From here to here is a whole skein of yarn. Um, this is the amount, excuse me, this is the amount that was left over. I stopped because I knew this would not make a whole nother round. So, that's one skein of yarn. And I thought that would be cute as a sleeve. It's not. <laughs> it's not cute at all. I tried it on and it just makes the whole sweater look like it is way too big for me. Now, in honesty, the black part is a little big and um, baggy but I thought that would be kind of snuggly so I did that part kind of biggish on purpose plus I just didn't want it tight I hate tight clothing um, and then I have a feeding tube so I just did not want tight sweater right and then I was thinking oh I'll just make those sleeves like It'll be like a big bell sleeve that just kind of hangs down and look real cute. No, it's not cute at all. It makes it look like it's just way too big for me. Like, it makes the whole sweater look like it's just swallowing me. I've never had clothes to swallow me before. <laughs> I've recently lost a lot of weight. Like, um, I was pushing close to 400. And now I'm down to like 270. So, I've never had clothes to swallow me before. And I never knew what that would feel like until I tried this on. And I'm, I was just like, you know, trying to see the sleeve. If it was like, looked like a flowy bell sleeve. And I was like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't look cute at all. It looks horrible. And so... I was just like, I didn't know what to do. I was just like thinking about it and thinking about it. And so I do my best thinking about something while I'm working on my project, you know. So I went ahead and went over to the other sleeve and joined in my another whole skein of yarn. Well, I mean, I haven't done the whole skein yet, but I'm working on another skein of yarn. And so... um I will say this pattern is by Premier Yarns and Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches, she did a tutorial on the sweater. Did I say blanket a minute ago? This is a sweater. This isn't a blanket. Even though it kind of fits me like a blanket, it's a sweater. Um, and then she said that after, I think on row seven, she started um, not chaining one in between the granny clusters or granny shells, whatever it is you're used to calling them. So I started that on row eight, not chaining in between my granny clusters. Okay, and so Jennifer said on row 12, she did a decrease. So I thought, okay, I'm definitely decreasing this because that bell, that bell sleeve does not look good. Like, no way. <laughs> so I got to my um, space for the chain. I mean, for, um, excuse me. I got to my round 12 where I wanted to decrease my sleeve and so I worked on that a couple of times just trying to see because honestly I don't think I've ever decreased a granny stitch in a project so I worked on it a few different ways to see what to do and I came up with something so I wanted to share that guy that with you guys right here 
So I'm going to insert that clip and let you see what I did. So I'm at the armpit area. This is my armpit. So that's coming up right up in this area. So I want to de I want to decrease with these two right here. So in steps to start decreasing this wide wide sleeve, I did um, stop doing chain ones in between my granny stitches. And so I'm going to do this granny stitch, but I'm not going to chain one here. And um, that is just trying to bring this super wide sleeve in some. So I'm just doing three granny stitches. I mean, three double crochets for a granny cluster shell, whatever you're used to calling them. So I have my three stitches here. All right. So these next two spaces, one and two, I need to I need to decrease on that. So I'm not chaining one here, or even if you are chaining one, that's okay. I'm just pointing out that I'm not chaining one. You can definitely do this and chain one. So I'm going to just do a double crochet like I normally would. Then I'm going to start a double crochet. But I'm only going to bring my yarn. I yarned over. I'm only going to bring it through two loops and leave two loops. Then I'm going to yarn over and go to the next space and go in it, yarn over, and pull that up. Now I'm going to, I have four loops on here. I'm going to pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all three together. Now I'm going, in the same space here, I'm going to do a double crochet. So that's what I have, and that leaves me, that puts me three stitches. But in the sense, you can see it kind of looks like four double crochets, but it brought these two together. Now, this is my version. Somebody else might out there might do it different, but that's what I'm doing to decrease. I did a double crochet, a partial double crochet. A partial double crochet that joined those two and then I did a double crochet so in sense it's kind of like four double crochets two partials but that's what I did and so now I'm not gonna chain and I'm gonna go to the next space and I'm gonna do my three double crochets for that granny stitch there so I could I did away with one whole space here and so now I have one here so when I'm going back around on the next round I will just do my granny stitch granny stitch and then I'll just go over that little section where I brought those together and granny stitch and so forth. So that is how I did my decrease in the granny stitch sleeve. And that is um, just what I kind of made up on the go there. So someone else might do theirs a little different, but that's the way I did mine. I practiced several, I mean, I tried several different things there to join those, and that's what I came up with. So, because it gives me three stitches, one, two, three, even though it looks like it's four double crochets there, it only gives three stitches at the top. So, that's my granny stitch decrease. There you have it. Thank Okay guys, so that was my version. 
I'm sure other people do not decrease like that. I mean, I don't know how they decrease, but it's probably not like that. I just kind of made that up on, you know, that's what was working for me. Because I tried a diff few different things, and that's what looked the best. Now, if by some re miracle that I did that, like, people really do it, yay me! <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, I, I finished off that round, and you really, um... I had to really look to find where my decrease was. So it's not noticeable at all. But I'm fixing to join that with the next um, granny stitch, with my first granny stitch. Join the last one to the first one. Then I'm going to start row 13. I think I'm going to do 13 and 14. And then I'm going to do another decrease. Because still, that's pretty big. Um, yeah, I need to do another decrease. Now, on Jennifer's project, she only did hers to come right at her um, elbow. I'm going to do mine to come down longer because I'm anemic. And um, I, I have issues with that chronically. And so, I mean... Lots of times people can be anemic and then they take medication or whatever and then they're not anemic anymore. I'm a chronic, chronic anemic and I take iron infusions every so many months as my blood work indicates that I need it. And so I get cold really easy a lot of times. I used to be so hot natured that this sweater right here just looking at me would make me start sweating. If I just looked at this sweater, I never wore any kind of sleeves, jackets, sweaters, or anything. But as I have gotten older, I'm B52 next month, um, and my health issues and being a chronic anemic, I get cold a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's something new for me. So, I know that I want to make the sleeves come down, um... You know to my wrist or as close to my wrist without going over my hand um, as I can so I think I'm gonna do two rows and then another decrease row and then try it on and see um, how many more rows I might could do like I don't know I probably should have started decreasing it before now but you know Okay, so then when I finish, when I figure out the sleeve and I am writing down each row what I'm doing, then I'm going to rip back my other sleeve and do it just like this sleeve. Not rip it back all the way, but rip it down to row 8 and then start the process that I have and repeat what I've done on this sleeve. So, there you go guys. Just wanted to share that with you guys in case someone... Um, wanted to do this but didn't know how to decrease I didn't either I just kind of made it up so sometimes you just make it up okay <laughs> don't don't be afraid to make it up <laughs> who knows some of y'all probably watching this like what are you doing that's not right okay <laughs> but when I look back at it um it's hard to distinct. I have to. I have to like really look at it and feel it to know that that's where I did a decrease at. So it's not too bad. Okay, guys, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.